Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh are here back with yet another easy 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the Rabbit Crazy Adventure. Now this was developed and published by Rafael Valim Fernandez aka My Night Sun Games who also made Gabriel's Worlds The Adventure and it is available for £4.19 slash $4.99. So in this crazy rabbit adventure we play as rabbit rabbit crazy rabbit rabbit eyes as we traverse through a platforming world full of spikes, bees and other stuff that for some reason want to harm a cute little bunny. Pretty bunny is that. But in order to get all the achievements we basically have to complete the first 20 levels, collect 20 stars which is very much unmissable, uh, and die 10 times. It is another easy one and we can expect some title updates in the near future. So all in all you're looking at around 10 to 15 minutes or so to get this done. So with that being said then, let's do it. And we shall begin lovingly. Right, uh, again, it's easy enough The um, uh, in terms of controls and everything. You can press A to jump, you can uh, press A twice to double jump, uh, move with the left stick and pause with the pause button, of course. So the aim of the game here is we go from left to right, obviously, and we hit the button at the very end. That is what will get us the completed level. So, and obviously what we also need to do now from here on out is look for a key. They're in easy places, i.e. high up here. So jump to the right, drop down, open up the barrier and ta-da! By the way, uh, this rabbit here does look kind of, um, I mean he looks methed up. I know that wasn't a Mike Tyson lisp right there. He does look pretty methed up. Uh, so we can jump on the globiest... The, those enemies there just look like potatoes that you've forgotten about and they've been in your cupboard for the last year and a half. So, <laughs> once you've killed the rotting, mouldy, grey potatoes, grab onto that and we'll get onto this next level. So again, there's going to be plenty of stars in these worlds, so you're going to get 20 regardless. Kill the mouldy potatoes, jump up to the right and grab the key, and that is level 4 complete. Again, this game is... Genuinely very easy, so what I'm expecting in title updates is to, uh, in the future, is probably get to level 30 and then probably level 40, but we shall wait and see. So, get your methed up rabbit, um, jump on the mouldy potatoes, and there's the key directly in front of us. So, just make sure to grab that, and that is level 5 complete hoss. Hooray! See? Super fun! I do like little plat. I, I do really like little platformer games like this, though. In all fairness, it's it it's just it's all fun. It's all fun, right? Once you do have twenty, by the way, you will get achievements. I've managed to get all the achievements in the game. That's why they don't appear on screen. But you'll obviously be getting an achievement uh, after every level. You should have already got an achievement for collecting twenty stars, and yeah, that's pretty good. So obviously, you can see there with the skull bridge, you can't be staying on that one for too long. Um, so let's continue onwards. So again, jump over the gaps, jump onto the mouldy potatoes. And they do actually come alive if you leave them for a year. Uh, drop down, you can go ahead and go to the other side and then you can just jump across, grab the key. And then you should be able to easily jump up and then get to the end again. So if you do need to restart the level, you can press Start and Y, and that can restart the level if you so wish. Uh, so, oh no, moldy, moldy potato ate me. So the key is underneath, so we'll just grab the two stars, and then what you need to do is jump up and gra grab the key and then jump straight up, and then that's job done. And now we're starting to get to some little more platforming sections, so of course, take your time. There's no rush, you know, this game is still short enough, or the achievements are short enough anyway. We don't need to be rushing, gushing, and flushing. I mean, if you go, yeah, you better flush if uh, it depends on the situation, of course. You better flush. Key is just underneath, so quickly grab it and jump up to the left. And then head to the right again. It's going to be some platforming sections and a moldy potato to kill. On to level 10, so 10 levels left, so obviously jump up, uh, kill old Moldo Potato, that's what they actually do look like after two years in the cupboard. Now the key is directly below you, so quickly jump up, make sure you've left a little bit of bridge so you can actually jump to the other side, and just be very careful with this bit, 
Uh, take your time, but also don't take your time. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, one of those that go slow, but you gotta go fast, otherwise you'll die. I mean, you gotta die ten times anyway, so yeah. Anyway, on to level eleven. Then we'll jump up, kill all potato nose. Looks like uh, looks like somebody's false nose has actually dropped off as well, didn't he? And then again, take your time, but be quick so you don't fall to your death. And then another little platform section. These are fine. The key will be underneath, so you're gonna have to drop down. Watch out for potato nose, the fake potato nose, and then just jump up to the right, and you are done. So as we start level 12, we're going to need to be doing some quick jumping across, so take your time, slash go fast. Got to go faster. Watch out for the spikes, because uh, even though enemies can uh, hurt you, so with this key, just grab it and jump back. Spikes will kill you in one cheeky little hit. So um, yeah, that's frustrating if you almost get to an end of a level and you get smashed up by L Spiker in the burrow. So that's level 12 done anyway, on to level 13. And let's see what we got. Oh, we've got circus platforming now. Uh, again, this is actually pretty easy. Um, they don't go fast or anything like that. They pretty much just stay there. So you can jump across the death bridge. Again, with the key, just jump back once you've grabbed it. And now just simply make your way to the right, avoiding the spikes and the potatoes, and you're done. And if you thought it was the same level as last time, don't worry, it's not. This is a new level. So the key, as you can see, is in the middle of the purple death bridge. So as soon as you can, quickly jump down, grab the key, and then jump up. Jump on these floating platforms. Now, for the last five levels, we've got bees. Now, bees can obviously sting you, so just try and avoid. Uh, but they'll sort of go up and down in waves. Still easy to avoid, you can jump on the head to kill if you want. Key is directly here, so quickly jump out on the platform once once you've grabbed that. Um, it's always worth just watching what the bee's pattern is, um, but generally you can either jump forward or backwards. Pretty easy to avoid. Uh, once you've jumped over the death bridges and this bee, it's the end of the level again. Float like a butterfly, sting like when I pee. Old Philip J. Fry, what a quote. Right, um, so apparently I'm almost dead. So let's try not to do that, is it? Um, now nah, it should be still very easy. The key is just underneath, so wait until the bee goes up. There we go, grab it, jump over to the platform. And again, make your way over the potato bees. And across the death bridge, and job done. And we got some new yet easy things to contend with in the next level. You just basically gotta quickly nip past these dudes right here because they get all evil and try to slam you dead. Well, looks like they're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, the key is now effectively over to the right side, as you can see, just on the. Well, I messed that one up. Just on the bottom there. So wait until the bee starts going up, grab the key, jump back to the left, jump to the right, kill a couple of potatoes, and there it is the finish line. Right, mate, got your Sonic the Hedgehog running shoes on? Because we're going to need to run. Run! Don't worry about anything, just go! Yeah. There we go, near problem yet. Right, uh, jump over the death bridge. The key is just in the, sort of floating in the middle of the screen right there. So grab it and then jump over to the next platforms. And then again, obviously, you'll just have to be careful. But once you've gotten over this set of bees, there we go. End is in sight. Now this bit looks complicated, but it's not so bad. So just grab the key immediately and then just jump straight down and make a break for it. Jump, 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 kill potato head. And then obviously we'll just be doing a little bit of uh, swinging platformings. Um, again, I got lucky there with the spikes. I did try to jump over and for some reason he didn't jump. So once you've got here, this is the end. We've just got one more level left to do and that's another thousand sticking out of your back butt pocket. So. 
let's go and do it. Right, again, jump over the bee, and then just quickly make a break for it to the right, jumping over the spikes, hit the moldy potato and the bee head, get a two fur, or get, just get a one fur, whatever. Grab some stars if you so wish, and just get hit by the bee, because why not? Uh, the key, once again, is just over to the spikes, so you just have to be careful, because a couple of bees will be there. Otherwise, that's that. Now, if you haven't died 10 times, that should be the only achievement that you've now got left. So it'll be just as easy as falling down the gap or kicking, kissing the spikes with your butt cheeks. I highly recommend to not do that in real life as well. Um, and then that will be it. So another easy game completed and all done. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game and I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. So thank you ever so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Big love.